<coughs> my medicine it was either taken by the hospital, somebody in the hospital, or somebody in the ambulance. It's the only places it can be. That's the only places and the only people that had ag access to my medicine. <coughs> and uh, as far as to when I was leaving the hospital, any decent camera footage would have shown me carrying a box this wide, this tall, and this fucking deep by my side, as big as a, a bigger than a briefcase. Any camera would have showed me carrying that big of a fucking uh, box out of that uh, hospital if I'd had it. Yeah, we called when I asked them. They said they didn't have it. I'm barely functioning today. <coughs> barely. I've been sick all fucking day. <coughs> and I decided to get out here and try to do something positive like build a fire or something. I don't fucking feel like doing it, but I don't feel like not doing it. Hang on, I gotta get rid of an ant problem that, that my son left with me down yesterday. Oh, he didn't mean to. He didn't. Know, he didn't know it was called an ant problem. But
honestly. I don't even think I've got any <coughs> any fire starter left over there, to be honest with you. I don't, oh, it may it may have dried out. I don't know. That ain't the right kind of wood. Kind of wood. Kind of wood. Kind of wood. You got to come in the room and say something so I can see you, boy. Enabling me? Ain't no fucking body enabling me. All right, you got it, big bud. You got it. You're enabling me. <laughs> y'all that want to want to talk down on somebody having a midlife crisis and talk shit i sure as hell hope you don't ever have one i pray that for you that you don't ever have one I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever make fun of somebody that's going through the shit that I've been going through and, and, and something like that goes down. I wouldn't never make fun of anybody like that. But I, I guess that shows what kind of people we really are, right?
It might not, hell, I don't know. I guess we'll see.
I gotta get a new chain for my necklace because the chain broke. Yeah, my mother's gonna take me to the clinic in the morning when they open. They're, they're not open on Sundays. I feel really bad today. Really bad. I damn sure don't feel like doing this, but I have no choice. I ain't made but $200 this week, and I, I've gotta, I gotta pay my bills, so. I've got to try to do some kind of live to, to, to I don't know, to try to make up for the days that I didn't go live and didn't and, and wasn't able to, to bring a live to you guys. Yeah, I probably should be in bed, but me being in bed ain't gonna help nothing. It ain't gonna make me feel no better. It ain't gonna be, <laughs> it ain't gonna make nothing go away, so. best I can. No, I'm not asking for anything. I'm trying to entertain and make a living is what I'm trying to do. Whether you see it that way or not, I really don't care. Today, I really don't feel like caring.
The chain broke on my necklace and I gotta buy another chain for my cross necklace. I don't know what happened to my meds. They, the, 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 the hospital says I left with them, but as big of a box as I had, uh, the camp where the camera shows, they said they couldn't tell what I was carrying. As big of a box as my meds were in, it would be obvious that it was a gun box, a big giant gun box. Uh, you couldn't mistake it for anything else and it would have stood out above everything else. <laughs> so, you know, they were just, I think they were just lying to cover their own ass. I think I think somebody in the hospital grabbed it. <clears throat> it, had all my, it had all my meds in it. You know, you're always supposed to take your meds to the hospital with you. They're what everybody's always said. So. I think somebody in the hospital stole it. Whenever they told them what I was taking, I think somebody just grabbed it. Because I was, uh, I was literally having a breakdown. I didn't know what was up, down, left, or right. I didn't know what the hell was going on. Thursday night, it was Friday. It all started, it all started Thursday and went into Friday and just, and, and just progressively got a lot worse and a lot worse and a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, ambulance did pick me up. I can guarantee you I'm in full-fledged two days of withdrawal of methadone. I can guarantee you that. It was methadone, that's what I take. You people are going to ask the stupid question that I've already seen. No, I was not wasted on anything. No.
I have no idea when I left the hospital. No, I didn't find my lockbox genius, sure did. I have no idea if the clinic will help me or not. I have no idea. I've got a police report that I need, uh, but as far as will they do anything for me, I have no idea. I'm going to the clinic in the morning. Let them know what happened. And I don't even care if they put it back to where I have to go up there every day. I don't give a shit. <clears throat> I just need my medication, you know? I don't have any, I don't even have my blood pressure medication. All of my medications was in that lockbox, all of it. Yes, I do have a police report. You know, it's not gonna be easy. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be real tough. But I'm gonna get through it somehow. With God's help, I'll get through it one way or another. <clears throat> I don't give a flying fuck what broken heart been bringing me a little bit of wood care what she says.
What? People are so stupid. Well, broken heart is a broken hearted is a bold faced liar. She said that a bold faced liar. <clears throat> Oh yeah, I'm, I don't care what people say because I'm in denial. Yeah, okay, whatever, Rob, whatever. <laughs> Thank you, Slim. <sighs> yeah, I am sick. What you don't understand is if I don't come out here and do this, then I don't have money to pay my rent and I become homeless. And I know whether I'm sick or not that I still gotta work and make money to pay my bills. <clears throat> Thank you, Clover. seen you the other night. People aren't going to like they did before they were. I, I, I can't help it. Granddaddy dang it. I can't help it. <clears throat> I can't help what, what happened and what they seen the other night. There's nothing I can do about that. If people would have truly, just like somebody else told me that's in the medical field, if somebody would have been truly worried about me the other night, they would have known that everything that I, every symptom that I was showing was all, all could be symptoms of a stroke. And nobody said anything. They just, they just sat back and watched and laughed. <laughs> No, I'm not saying I'm not saying every everyone. I'm saying a lot, just just about everyone. I'm not talking about my 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 true followers. I'm talking about a lot of the other people. <clears throat>
Most people were concerned with the, the witnesses and the overs and see that green eyes that that's and see that's the whole thing. I wasn't on anything other than what I normally take. There was no overdosing. There was no other drugs. That, that's what people don't understand. Wasn't on anything else. <clears throat> All this bullshit has been leading up to this. All of it. Video don't lie. <laughs> what? I'm not gonna listen to this stupid shit. I'm as real as it gets. Y'all can run your mouth all you want to. You do it every day anyway. I really don't care. Uh, 